Yeah, it's good. Alhamdulillah. See, this is what I was saying though. Like, you got You guys got to make a longer, a longer yeah. episode because every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. I'm really invested. And then we need more that's more it. of you, then, bro. I'm just like, <laughs> in order to make this happen, we need more yeah. of you. Bro, say the word. Say the word. Yeah, real talk. Beer. Real talk. Oh, do you see that video where I posted about that yes, that, that, that huge that, sculpture? That statue. That Terrifying. statue, yeah. That the thing. one with the dagger wings. I just yeah. noticed the, the, the wings were made out of knives. Yeah, upside like down knives. knives yeah. upside, upside down. I didn't, I didn't notice the, the knives. I That's just, terrifying. It, it, yeah. it looked so demonic. Yeah, super. And dude, the, you could feel the energy from the picture. You could, dude. You could. Yeah. Um, on the back of it, it was a spear of Satan. You know, where it's like, the, you know, the, usually the spear he holds, it's like, it's a spirit, and then it has three. Oh, the little prong. Yeah, the prongs. Yeah, yeah, it had that behind it. Oh, that's weird. Super. Where weird. in Canada was this? This was in a small town uh, of Barrie. Small Barry. town, of course. Can't, Crazy, bro. I was, I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, how that? Like, the U.S. claims to be such a Christian country. How's that even still allowed? Then, well, bro, you, then you said Canada. I'm like, oh, I guess yeah. it guess makes more sense. Bro, especially like in the small towns, like any small town yeah. you go to, typically. Why? It's it's just. It's a very niche community often. It's more easier to kind of get away with it. Yeah, but also there's typically one thing in a small community that kind of binds that community together. Yeah. And oftentimes it's religion. Wow. It's Christianity. It's like a small church. Places like Kentucky, what what bonds them together? It's like white supremacy, like hardcore, like super, super like um, Christian values and things like that. Mm. Like it, it's those small towns where it just, it's like a breeding ground for like extremism of, yeah. of whatever kind of you, whatever you, kind. you choose. Yeah. I feel like people didn't even know what they were doing over there. It's so weird. But so my question was, when I was driving, I saw that at night, okay? And I saw it from far okay, away. Hold on, hold on. First of all, why the hell <laughs> did you see that big thing with the daggers and the Satan tried it? And why was your first thought, hey, let me go visit this at midnight by myself? <laughs> Bro, I live for these things. I live for these things. I've Not heard... even during daylight. Nope. Yeah. Darkness. But what stopped me was a guy who was standing over there. So basically, when I was pulling up to that thing, I saw it and naturally in my mind, I was thinking, I was like, wow, that is, it was a very intriguing thing. I was like, that is something 100% I could see people worshiping. And I pulled up to it and that's when I saw the guy who was doing something suspicious at the steps and then he looked at me and kind of like walked off and kept looking back. Oh, what the heck? And I see all these things <laughs> at the front steps and I look at the oh, statue. God, I'm like, dude. dude, yeah, morning time, I'm coming back. <laughs> Can you imagine someone someone took time to make that too, by the way? That giant yeah. sculpture with the daggers, with everything. They took time to make that. I don't understand it, bro. And so my thing was, when I saw that, the the thought that went across my mind was that looks like something people will worship. And I'm not even gonna lie, bro, it intrigued me. Me myself. It intrigued me heavily. The only reason why I didn't assign anything more to it was simply because I know that in Islam we don't do that. That's it. But my question was, is it the human mind, natural human mind, that ca that allows us humans to just, that we just like naturally get intrigued by these grand sculptures? Or is it the whispers of shaitan that tells us we should be intrigued by it? And you had a really good, interesting point of view on that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like like me and you talked about, we, we talked about um, kind of like, is it human nature for us to, to kind of, for, for humans to worship something like that? And I, my, my kind of view of this is just in general, it's easier for, for humans to kind of, you believe what you see, right? Which is why so many people are either they're atheists or, you know, they don't believe in God because you can't physically see that, right? It's, 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 it's one thing to just kind of naturally, we're, we're able to kind of, we believe what we can see, right? You know, I, I, I know I have a hand cause I'm looking at my hand right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you you um it takes commitment to believe in something you can't see which is why like you know in islam particularly islam like being a muslim is is a commitment it's praying five times a day it's it's a whole lifestyle right whereas say if you're a christian and you have like a statue that you like pray to or whatever like a little thing of jesus or whatever it's it's in christianity not, not to kind of like bash it right now but it's very non-committal you just say you go to church every once in a while, you celebrate Christmas, you have a little statue of Jesus, and that's it, right? It's because it, it's easy for you to just, it's there, right? Mm -hmm. But with Islam, it's you, you, it takes commitment to believe in something you don't see, you know, and, it, and it's natural for us to, 
to believe in to not believe in something we don't see. You know, it 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 is a difficult thing, which is why I believe it's not necessarily shaped on that causes people to kind of gravitate towards that. I think it's kind of the natural human thing to do to gravitate towards something tangible, something physical. When it comes it's to really worship, good point. it's a really good point. It's a really good point. Yeah, but like. <clears throat> I, I, I feel that, but like, I mean, the statue, for example, right? I mean, yeah, you see it, but like, you don't see it doing anything. So why why would you go worship it, right? Like, why well, would someone see this big statue and be like, oh, I should worship it? Because it has, like... No ability to do anything. Yeah, it has no ability, right? It's, it's, it's just a thing. Right? So like, like, Hindus, right? Hindus saw a cow and... They looked at the cow saying, oh, it's the one thing, one, one of the only things in this world that can fulfill your thirst and your hunger. That's why they worship because it was giving them something. But the statue, it's giving them, it's giving you nothing. So why, why would a human who believes in the scene and what they can see believe in something inanimate that's giving you nothing in return? I, I think that like, so my, my explanation was more kind of broad but if we're talking specifically that thing that there are always like kind of crazy people who are kind of fanatical right mm -hmm. and i believe that that particular statue is just kind of gave them a physical kind of outlet to aim their kind of fanatical you know views to if that makes yeah, sense yeah, yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah like that's 100 percent what i was gonna say is like even though i knew <laughs> <laughs> Even though I knew that statue couldn't help me or anything or harm yeah. me, but the reason why it was so intriguing was because of its size. Yeah. The si I'll tell you something weird. I went to Chicago. Yeah. And the, you know the Chicago Bean everyone takes a picture of? Us? Yeah. But may Allah forgive me. I had such intriguing energy from that bean. I don't know why. And I, th I was so confused. I was so confused for so long. I was like, why am I so intrigued by this bean? And I think it's because of the size. I walk up to it and I was just amazed by it. I oh the bean <laughs> versus the, the statue are two different things. Yeah. Like you can marvel, you can you can yeah. marvel at an architectural architectural design that a human made. Like I, I I'm sure I would feel that way if I were to look at a pyramid, right? Yeah. That's different. You can marvel at you know this creation that it just exists that you know that's, that you know is man made, right? Yeah. Versus something that you know for a fact, like that statue you came across. That just gives off pure like evil energy. Yeah, that's things true. that people you know that you because you said that people are even offering like Sacrifices, presents to it, and pre separate. presents to it, and yeah, yeah, yeah that diff different kind of situation. I think. Yeah, definitely. But I think that the commonality between both of those things was the size, and so my standpoint is on why it was intriguing to anyone in general is simply because of its size. Interesting. Yeah, because we think about this when you're on the day of judgment. Whenever we get to that day of judgment point, and the angels bring out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on his throne, I don't I think it was 70,000 angels per, like, or, or I don't know how many angels, but there are angels that are carrying this throne, and it's so grand and huge that at that moment is when you realize the size of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how small you are and how much you should be. Submissive to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I, I feel that way whenever I watch any kind of either like animal planet type documentary or particularly documentaries about like space. You know? Yeah. When you yeah, realize yep. just how tiny this, yep. you know, we're a little speck of Freaks dust floating out. in this giant universe. Freaks me out. Yeah. Well, Lahi, dude, me and, me and uh, Simra, we were in a convertible, right? We yeah. put the top down. It was beautiful time for stargazing. Oh, you went to California? Cal uh, I think so. Yeah. I think so, yeah. I looked up. She was already looking up. She was amazed by it. I looked up. Wallahi. Oh, my God. It frightened the hell out of me. It scared me so badly because of how big everything was and how small I am. Yeah. That humbled me. I really couldn't look up for I, too long. I really couldn't. Can you believe that? I not, couldn't not look up I love that feeling, though. It's a beautiful feeling. It, it's beautiful. And that's what I think one of the uh, sheikhs said. He said that the, he believes that the reason why there are a lot of atheists in the world is because they cannot stargaze. Because there's so much light in the world now. Think about it. The more light, the light, street lamps there are, the harder it is to see the stars. 
And that's true. That's why you go to a very dark area to see the stars. Because they can't see how vast this universe is, they start to believe they're actually something. So you said it was the human mind that allows the person... Human, human to, nature, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So where does Shaitan come into play then? Interesting. I, I, don't, I don't think it comes into play with something... Well, I maybe... And that's talking about I, this I think, specific I think like, thing. For that specific... For these grand big things that people end up worshipping. So Why? specifically the ones that people worship, I think it's a mix of... like, I think it, it's, it's Shaitan taking advantage of human nature. Facts. Dang. I think, it, I think it might be a combination, right? Like, yeah, yeah. you see all these people praying to it, right? Like, you see, like, even though you didn't see this, right? But all these guys are praying to it constantly. It has to have some sort of shaitanic energy there. Because they're, they're all there, sitting there praising shaitan. So he has his presence there. Yeah. So yeah. that is definitely like, that's a big part of it. Shaitan is like, yeah, this is like a, one of my main spots. Yeah. And he does have an energy. Shaitan does have an energy. Me and Taha went to a rave. We went to a rave. Ya Allah, alhamdulillah. Oh really? my God. Oh my God. One of the main guys, I don't know what his name is. I could probably check it out, but a probably better idea not to. We went to a whole bunch of different small time performers. They got done. The main show where? guy came up. Uh, I don't know where it was. We have never. We don't usually go to raves. This was our first no, 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 time. Not like specifically like, like in, in, Houston. Houston, in Houston? Houston, yes. We went to the rave. The main guy came up on stage. He hopped onto the stage. Wallahi, dude. First, firstly, they started flickering the lights in a certain way, and then we started getting poured on with something. We put our hands out. It was it was fake, but it was blood, fake blood. So that already the imagery is the demonic imagery already. On the TV behind him, all sorts of satanic stuff was going on, on the TV. And I told thought I'm very intrigued by stuff. So I told Taha in mid -con mid rave, well, bro, Taha, look at that. And by the way, everyone around us is on extreme drugs. Yeah. High off extreme drugs. They don't know what the hell is going on, but they feel some energy. I swear, dude, me and Taha were sitting there. I felt such an energy that was so dark. But wallahi, it was so, so intriguing. It was mm. so so intriguing. Well, I could put a well, I could put a, I could swear by it. Dude, it was Shaitan that was up I, there, bro. I feel that way whenever I I get a, a, a feeling similar to that whenever I'm just watching TV and a movie comes on a trailer for like like The Conjuring or something like yeah. that. Yeah, like just little things like yeah. that where I I it don't brings like, in the demon I, out of you type it, thing. It it it's like it, it puts that thought into you, which I which I don't like doing, and I I know like artists like that. Oftentimes, their their intention is not to be like, "Hey, I want to possess these people," but they because they like they like to just be provocative. Yeah. But when you play around with stuff like that, I think it, it, it's it's like it's like tempting. Yeah. Like, um, See, I think it's actually their labels, their labels who sign them and everything. They know what they're doing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the artists, they're just focused on oh, okay, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. And fame. But that that's how it carries over. But dude, the feeling was so just good and bad. Yeah, interesting. It was the complete opposite of when you go to a masjid. Complete opposite. When you go to the masjid, you feel this emptiness and like you feel this emptiness of the of the world, but you feel this fulfillment of the of the masjid and yeah. everyone around you, all the smiles and everything. That feeling, it was such a dark, dark, dark feeling, but it felt so good. And that was the scariest part about it is that it felt good. We had to leave shortly after that. Otherwise, I don't know what would have exactly happened. Mm. I, it was a really scary moment. It was a really scary moment. So yeah, I can see what Thaw is saying about when people are worshipping that and Shaitan's presence is around there. It it has a presence. And the fact that it has that energy, that presence, people mistake it for either a god, but they don't mistake it for a higher energy. So and like, it is a higher energy, a Shaitan. So like, I didn't feel that, but like when, when when you felt that darkness, did, it, did you feel it filling you up kind of? Like filling a void kind of? Yeah. I, I guess that's the Shaitan. That's why you will worship Shaitan because they see this stuff and they see that that emptiness in their heart fill, even though it's not with something, but it's getting filled. It's dark, man. It's the only way to describe it is that feeling of fulfillment that's inside the heart. It's dark, but you don't care at that moment because it feels good, just like lust it feels good as hell, but it's wrong. It's bad. But it gives you that fulfillment, it gives you that satisfaction. Oh God, it was crazy. 
Oh god, it was crazy. 